Watercolor pans versus tubes. To continue comparing pans versus tubes, I'm gonna paint a piece just with pans today and I'm gonna keep the palette in the frame so you see what it looks like. Here's a reminder that you have to get your paint pans wet before you get started and leave them for a few moments to get that paint activated. The main difference between pans and tubes, in my opinion, is that in the beginning when you're just getting started with watercolor, pans are so much more easily accessible. With tubes, there is just enough friction sometimes that you don't want to actually get them open, but with pans, the paint is already open for you. The downside to this, though, is that you're going to be way more tempted to use more colors than you would if you were using tubes. This means it's going to be harder to keep a nice, clean, simple color palette for your painting. And although you got your pans wet before you started, they are going to start drying out. That means you're going to want to keep them wet throughout the whole process so you keep your pigment and water ratio correct. Overall, I do think pans are way more accessible and easy to use for beginner watercolor painters. They are really compact, really easy to take with you on your travels and your adventures. In my next tutorial, I'm going to paint the same landscape, except I'm only going to use tubes. I think you'll easily see that you can create whatever you want with both tubes or pans.